Okay, students. In this video, I will explain to you the solution to problem number nine from exercise eight on finding the center of buoyancy of the given ship. The problem states as follows: the deck and keel of a flat bottom barge are identical. Its sides are vertical. The deck consists of two sections. The bow is a triangle, 12 meters broad, and measures 12 meters in the fore and aft direction. The mid body is a rectangle, 50 meters long and 12 meters broad. <coughs> If it is floating on an even keel in salt water with a displacement of 3,444 metric tons, find the position of its center of buoyancy with reference to the keel and with reference to its aft end. So let us make a drawing of that. As for the problem, the base is 12 meters long, and the height of the triangle is also 12 meters. The rectangular midsection is 50 meters long by 12 meters broad. Once again, we convert this into two parts, x and y. I have drawn a three-dimensional shape to make it easier for you to understand. Capital H is the maximum height of the vessel from the keel to its deck, and it is floating at a draft equal to d meters. So let us take the first case, solving for x. That is the triangular section. Displacement of x is equal to volume into the relative density. The volume is equal to area into the draft, and that we multiply by the relative density. The area of a triangle is half base into height. Multiplied by the draft, multiplied by the relative density. When you put in all the values, the base is 12 meters, the height is 12 meters, the draft is unknown, and the relative density is 1.025. So the displacement for section X is equal to 73.8 times the draft in metric tons. Solving for y, that is the rectangular section. Displacement of y is equal to volume into relative density, and volume is equal to area into the draft. So area of the rectangular section being length into breadth, multiplied by the draft and multiplied by the relative density. We put in the values for length and breadth and the relative density. We get 50 is the length. 12 is the breadth, draft is unknown, and the relative density of the water in which it is floating, which is salt water, is 1.025. Thus, the displacement for the section Y is equal to 615 times the draft in metric tons. <coughs> Now we know from the problem the data given is that the total displacement is equal to 3,444 metric tons, which is Displacement of x plus displacement of y. Now that is equal to we take out the common factor that is the draft, and you get 73.8, which we got from here, and you add it to 615, which we got over here, and what do we get? We get the draft therefore is equal to 344 divided by 688.8. And that gives us a draft of five meters. Now KB is equal to half the draft. Thus, the KB is equal to five divided by two, and that works out to 2.5 meters. In this case, part A, we have found the height of the center of buoyancy from the keel. Now we have to find the distance of the center of buoyancy from the aft end. So let us go to the next slide. 
We have the same situation. X is the triangular section, Y is the rectangular section. Now the center of buoyancy just out of the rectangular section is located at half the length from the half perpendicular, half perpendicular, half end. So the length of the rectangular section will be 50, the center of buoyancy of that will be located at B by, which will be at 25 meters. The center of buoyancy just for the triangular section is located at two thirds from the apex. Two thirds of the height from the apex or one third from the base. Now since the maximum this height is 12 meters, two thirds of that will give us eight meters from the apex or four meters from the base. Thus, the center of buoyancy of the triangular section from the aft end is equal to 50 plus 4 equal to 54 meters. So now we have to take moments about the aft end. We know the location of the center of buoyancy of the triangular section, of the rectangular section at 25 meters from the aft end. And we know that the center of buoyancy of the triangular section is at 54 meters from the aft end. Now the center of buoyancy of the complete structure has to lie somewhere in between Bx and By. So let us say it is located at point V. This is point. We have to find this location of B from the aft end. <coughs> That is to say that we have, have to find this distance of A, B. Now we take moments of the two different compartments from the half end. Before we do that, we have to find the displacement of X. Once again, we find the displacement of X. We have found from the earlier slide that the draft is 5 meters. So we substitute the value of D as 5 meters and we get for the triangular section half base into height multiplied by the relative density multiplied by the draft. So half base is 12, base is 12, the height is 12, the draft is 5, the relative density is 1.025, thus we get the displacement of the triangular section to be 369 metric tons. Similarly, we find the displacement of the Y section, that is the rectangular section, and we get volume of Y into relative density, that is the area of Y into relative density, area being length into breadth, into the draft, to get the volume and you multiply by the relative density. Thus, L being 50, uh, capital the breadth being 12, the draft we found from the previous section was 5 meters, multiplied by the relative density 1.025, and we see that the displacement of the Y section works out to 3075 metric tons. Thus, the total displacement of this vessel is equal to the displacement of X section plus the displacement of Y section, that is 369 we got over here, plus 375 which we calculated here, and that gives us 3444 metric tons, which is exactly what we have been told in the problem. Now we take moments about the half end of this. Vessel. So 3444 multiplied by AB, we have to find the location of AB, the location of the center of buoyancy with respect to the half end. So the displacement multiplied by the AB is equal to 369, that is the displacement of the triangular section multiplied by 
ABX and we had seen earlier that ABX is equal to 50 plus 4 is equal to 54. Thus we see that we have 369 times 54. To that we have to add the that value for the rectangular section. The displacement of the rectangular section in 3075 and the center of points just of just the rectangular section being at 25 meters and a half ten. Thus we have 3075 multiplied by 25. <coughs> so what you get from this is we get the value of AB which is equal to 28.107 meters when we work out this uh, solution. That's it, students. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, share, as well as subscribe to my channel. Goodbye and have a good day.